Hello friends, uh, in this video I'd like to show you how I wire up a switch mode to control uh, two independent outlets. Now this was originally a request made by a forum user who asked whether a switch mode could be built, like a custom switch mode, which could be plugged in right into another outlet and it would have its own uh, controllable outlet and a local button to control that outlet. And uh, Basically my response was that it's really too complicated to make that compact and still retain all the functionality and also make it low cost and using uh, all through whole parts like uh, this switch mode. And my alternative suggestion was that you could just go to Home Depot and buy an electrical box and an outlet and a cover that fits uh, that configuration and basically wire up the existing switch mode kit to control those outlets. And we could do that pretty easily with uh, pretty much all off-the-shelf parts and of course the switch mode kit. Before I move on I'd like to mention a couple things. The intent here is to be able to control two outputs uh, independently and this can be done with uh, this uh, dual output switch mode. Uh, this has two 10 amp 250 volt relays that are wired to uh, the S1 and S2 ports. The N and H are neutral and hot. These are inputs that feed into the relays and also power uh, the low voltage electronics and the Motino which controls the relays and the buttons and LEDs. And then uh, what you see here is also a GFCI outlet which just happened to uh, be in my junk box and this uh, fits nicely with this cover that I also had handy. Um, the problem with this uh, is that it may not be appropriate for uh, this kind of uh, switch box application. Uh, it could be used for wet um, areas or wet applications uh, but this is a GFCI. It just happened to uh, fit this frame uh, another problem is that uh, the input plate is internally connected, so I can't split it apart, which means that uh, once I connect hot to this, uh, both of these outlets will come on, so I can't control them independently uh, without taking this apart and finding a way to split this open. Not sure I want to do that, so I've decided to just um, use this plain and simple uh, dual outlet uh, instead and this has the same type of uh, input it has this uh, plate that's actually shared between the two but it has this tab right here which is exposed and I think I can cut that open and actually make it possible to uh, feed two hot inputs which will uh, go to each of these uh, outlets unfortunately the frame that I have doesn't fit that one uh, but you could go to Home Depot, they do have plates that will accommodate a plug and a switch. Um, the screw would be right in the middle, uh, it would be flush with this and everything would be uh, looking very nicely. The input to this box will actually be a power cord, which uh, I also had handy. Uh, this will actually feed into the source. Uh, and the other end I'm going to cut open and use uh, the wires to uh, provide input to the box. You could always just put this in the wall or find some other kind of electrical box. Again, this is something that I just happen to have around. It doesn't have to be this, it could be a metal box or anything else that uh, fits these. And this could be in a wall wired directly to uh, mains wiring, but for this application I'm just going to I'll make it uh, a portable switch box which you can plug anywhere and you have dual um, control over these uh, two outlets and also a third uh, general purpose button which uh, basically doesn't have to do anything or uh, it could uh, do anything. It could uh, open your garage or it could just notify uh, your gateway to trigger an event, so send an email, whatever, uh, whatever you want.
All right, so all the wiring is complete. Uh, I've double checked uh, all the wires uh, that they go where they should. I use my continuity meter to do that, especially I want to make sure the hot goes to uh, the input of the switch mode and that uh, the two relays outputs go to uh, the two independent outlets here. Um, now I have the switch mode plugged into the FTDI into my computer for programming. Obviously, uh, the switch mode is not plugged in. You don't want to do that uh, while you program it. And uh, right now uh, it's waiting to be programmed. And I will go ahead and uh, pull up the, the sketch here and I will click upload. And at that point, the FTDI adapter will uh, upload the program into the switch mode. And as soon as that is done, the switch mode will initialize and it's ready for action. Uh, now you'll notice we're, we're still not plugged in, right? Um, the USB power is enough to power the whole switch mode and actually activate the relays. What I want to show here is the gateway interface and as soon as I press a button here on the switch mode, this will actually register in the gateway automatically. So I don't have to do any pairing or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and uh, press the top button. And there we go. It just showed up in the interface. Now we could go and uh, configure this and say this is a uh, light switch. Go back home. Scroll to the bottom. And I've just turned on the first uh, outlet here. Um, we don't know that it's actually working because we're not plugged in, but uh, uh, I could turn on the second one as well. That will also register there. So this is ready to, to go. So I'll install it in the box and uh, we'll take it from there. Alrighty, so this is all wired up and installed in the box. Uh, I just wish I had the right plate, but I'll have to go to Home Depot and uh, buy one that matches the outlet as well. Um, so I'll, I'll plug this in and the switch mode should come right on. Okay, so it's ready to do some action. And uh, just to illustrate the independent control of these two, I prepared uh, two Motinos that are program with the blinky uh, program and I'll just plug these in uh, separately in here so right now nothing happens they're both off if I press this button the first one starts blinking so power flows through uh, if I press the second one it starts blinking as well if I turn them off now one's off the other is still on now they're both back off. So there we go, that's the whole demo. And uh, just to illustrate how I can control this from the gateway, I can go down here where I have the new node show up and I can turn this on. Let's turn them both on. So now both are blinking. Yeah, so there you go. It's a pretty easy application. You can have a switch box like this uh, created in no time and uh, it's quite useful. Uh, you can use the power cord uh, or you could uh, install it in the wall somewhere. I hope you find it useful. I hope you like the video and uh, you can subscribe for future videos if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching and see you later. And of course I forgot to show you that I can also control both of these from uh, a mobile device that's synced with the gateway and you can control the switch mode remotely from anywhere in the world.